Okay, so we have a Revel travel ventilator, and we're going to use it as a BiPAP, or NPPV, which is non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. This is for your patients who aren't intubated, and we're gonna use this as kind of a CPAP, BiPAP uh, modality, just to get them there. So, first thing we should always do when we have our travel vent is we need to have our test lung, okay? It's very, uh, very important that when you're setting the, making your settings, dialing in for a ventilator or especially for BiPAP, and you'll see, is we need to set it with a test lung, okay, just to get everything ready. So let's go ahead and fire up our Rebel. Okay, so we're going to silence the alarms. We're gonna to go to new patient. Scroll past this, patient size, we're gonna do an adult patient. Select, and we're not gonna do an intubated patient, we're going to do a uh, NPPV patient. But let me show you quickly, if we do go to intubated patient, how quickly this gets started. Okay, it just fires up, it gives them the breath, delivers it immediately, okay? So that's why we always wanna have a test lung first, rather than pop our patient on there. We don't wanna give them this big blast of air, especially if we're using uh, NPPV. So let's go back to, let's go ahead and actually Start over, turn the whole thing off, and I'll show you just from beginning to end, okay? Turn it on. And so we're gonna clear the alarms, and then we're gonna get a new patient. Let's get patient ID. Patient size, adult. We're gonna skip intubator, we're gonna to scroll to NPPV, okay, and we'll select this. And from here, you'll see the first settings, okay? And this should all be, of course, on the test lung when you're doing this, okay? We have our uh, first setting, IPAP. IPAP is the inspiratory pressure that we're gonna to use to deliver to do the ventilation. So 16, and our default setting for EPAP, which is, a, which is a CPAP, which leaves the lungs open, is six. And this is just your default settings. You could set whatever uh, you want. Um, if you go to the hospital and they give you some settings 10 over five, this is the place to dial, in, dial these things in, okay? Um, now when they actually get the patient on it, I'll show you how to adjust it and how this setting will not come up. You'll have to adjust from pressure control. Okay, and I'll show you how that's done. But 16 over five, and, let's go, and then we have our backup rate. This rate is a backup rate, it's not a ventilator, so it's not gonna deliver these breaths. But what the backup rate does is, if our patient goes apneic uh, on these spontaneous mode, the setting, if he has apneic pauses, this will kind of nudge him to take a breath. Okay, so it's not a ventilator, but it kind of nudges them to make sure they breathe at least 12, or whatever you set the backup rate as, okay? And then we have Ventilate, and this gets it started. So make sure that you're all dialed in, and then we put our patient on our mask, uh, okay? Make sure the mask is a non-vented mask, okay? Uh, best to just use your own equipment. Try not to use whatever the hospital gave you because you never know what, you know, you're not, you don't know for sure what kind of mask they have if it's vented or whatever, okay? Uh, so just as a safety progression, I recommend that you use whatever you brought, okay? So. We're gonna select ventilate, okay? So now we're into our NPPV mode. Now, if you were to put this on the patient, they probably wouldn't be very comfortable because it blasts uh, that first air. So we're gonna to have to do a couple adjustments. So let's go into our sub menu, okay? So we're gonna hold down select. And we're gonna, it'll bring us into our sub menu. We'll scroll by standby, by SBT, by nebulizer, by alarm config, and we're gonna go to vent control, okay? And this is going, where we're gonna make our first adjustment. So we're gonna select, and we're gonna select rise time, and these profiles are set when, as presets that uh, your biomed department has preset. I know that uh, none of these profiles are preset, but just to play it safe, I'm just gonna go to the first one, select that one, okay? And then we're gonna to go to, scroll to flow termination. And this is going to be set at 25 as a default, and that's set for a ventilator. If you were to put this on your BiPAP patient, the breath would be too, too big and too strong and terminate too fast. 
Okay, 25% is perfect for ventilator as a setup, but not for uh, NPPV. Okay, and then if you take too long, it'll kick you out. So let's go back to it. Vent control. We're gonna go to flow term, and we're gonna change this from 25 to 40%. Okay, select this, and then we're gonna go to time term and we're gonna make this from two seconds to one second. And this just gives you a more comfortable breath. So, so now we have our settings, okay? As a cheat sheet, vent control, rise time, we're gonna to go to profile one, flow term 40%, and then time term 10%, and you can screenshot this to help you if you wanna use this and leave it in your phone. But now we have it all ready to go, okay? So now we have a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our patient on our BiPAP set. You remember when we were setting it, we had the settings of IPAP 16 over six, okay? So now when you're setting your ventilator, you're not gonna have another adjustment for the IPAP setting, okay? It'll show as pressure control. Uh, now, there's a, it's not gonna be perfect math, so just know that we have one centimeter of water kind of stuck in there somewhere, okay? So this should be 16 over six, but, so bear with me. But 16 over six is our setting, okay? 17. 16 minus six is pressure control, so that's what this, this is gonna represent. So when you're adjusting now, uh, you're not gonna be able to adjust the IPEP, you have to adjust the pressure control. So let's say that we wanna go uh, from 16 over 6 to 10 over 6. Okay, just to show you what we're doing with the math. IPAP is 16, EPAP is 6, 16 minus 6 is 10, pressure support is 10, so that's where our 10 is, okay? So let's say that we want to go uh, 10 over 6, okay? So what we're going to do is we'll do the math. We're gonna have pressure control of four, and that should give us roughly 10 over six. Okay, it probably shows 11, see that? So that's what we did here, 10 over six. 10 minus six is four, pressure support is four, okay? So it's a little tricky when you're doing, uh, uh, making adjustments on the BiPAP. Um, but the thing about BiPAP is, you don't care about numbers, okay? You're gonna care about, um, it's not like a ventilator where you're gonna set tidal volume this, 500, whatever, it's based on math. This is based on what the patient's doing, okay? So don't worry too much about the settings. Uh, just know that when you drop off our patient, when you give, a, when you give the ongoing respiratory therapist or doctors or uh, the patient, the setting is going to be not four over six. It's gonna be whatever the PIP is showing you, okay? So in this case, it would be 11 over six. Uh, we have that one. 10 over six is what we're trying to accomplish here, okay? But that's how you set that, okay? And you're gonna go off of patient comfort. You're gonna go off of, I'm scrolling to the tidal volume, okay? If they're getting good tidal volumes, uh, as long as you know that our patient is ventilating and if they're wearing this mask and they have good vitals, you're good, okay? Don't worry about fixing them on this thing, okay? Don't worry about the numbers, okay? It's all about getting the patient to wear it and getting them comfortable and getting them there uh, stable, right? Okay, all right, well, there we have it.